Maybe surrounded by a million people, I still feel all alone. Just wanna go home. Oh, I miss you, you know. <laughs> That song came to my mind as I was heading out for my uh, day off, day of reflection. Greetings, everybody. Good morning. It's Valerie Ling here. What's the weather like where you are? Where I am right now, there are some pretty gray skies and it is threatening, I think, to be a fairly wet day, which will be fantastic all around. Reflection day today is, for me, many things, a day to just reset, recharge. You know, one of the things that I have been observing because I'm in the process of doing a bunch of recruitment at the moment for the practice, it's, it's pretty common this time of year. Um, we've got some uh, 2020 goals. We've reviewed our manpower resources. Um, and services that we would like to provide and it's very very common that we actually go through a recruitment exercise around about now and one of the things that I'm observing is just how much um, uh, individuals pack into their view of what they're going to be able to do uh, in the new year and a lot of times it's because there is enthusiasm for growth thinking of all the different ways that we can maximize our growth. And I think two things stand out to me about this. One is there's plenty of activity and I wonder though about how much space there is to, to do the actual growing. And the second thing is the kind of optimistic forecasting we have about ourselves. And I wonder if that's because part, part of it is... Um, a lot of times we don't give ourselves the opportunity to actually, um, I call it the hacker way, which is to try first and see how you feel and how you sit with things. So the space to grow, what do I mean by that? Today is one of my spaces to grow. It is uh, really, really um, meaningful to me to use uh, Fridays in a variety of ways. And I've written a blog about how I'm using today as a reflective space. What I mean by this is if we've got 24 hours in the day and we pack, you know, well, some of us are really only getting like five or six hours of sleep. So 24 maybe 19 hours of those days are fully packed back to back, running from one activity to another, reading one article to another, thinking about one thing from another, flitting from one screen to another. There's a whole bunch of material coming at us and not necessarily the space or the place to respect how our brain and body actually works, which is to re require quiet time, reflective time for integration and processing and doing the internal filing and then from doing the internal filing having the sticky factor of the things that are then left for us to work on. Right? Think about how uh, you learn to drive a car or ride a bicycle before it got to the automatic point. Um, there was It was effortful, right? It was intentional. Um, and you couldn't ride your bike all the time, right? You, you, it wasn't possible for you to, to, to do it for 19 hours, to fall off, pick yourself up. <clears throat> you needed to actually take some time to actually um, process, process it. And that's what is happening uh, as I'm observing uh, individuals coming through my practice, forecasting for their growth for next year is it's jam packed. There's going to be so many people to talk to, so many new things to learn, so many activities to do. And there is an underestimation then required of just those quiet spaces where you're not learning, you're not doing, you're not thinking to really just be and process. And Friday for me is that day um, to take a break and be creative and, and do some reflective things. Now, interestingly enough, tag to this, the reason why I played the music video, uh, well, it's not a video, it's a music thing. I'm supposed to lip sync to it, but I'm not going to, is right when I had planned my week, you know, woke up in the morning, cleared the deck and thought, oh, we've got a clear day, head out the door, I get a text message. <laughs> Get a test basis because I said in my blog, I'm still 
available but not necessarily accessible right so people still know they can they can contact me on a friday and of course i got a message from a child um one of my children um who needs me right and um they're away from home right now on camp and must have taken the opportunity to touch base with me um to to basically say that they weren't feeling very well um, they had a plan for how they were going to get home and, um, mom, you know, um, good morning. Is there any way you might be able to, um, to, to pick me up and things like that. Right. <laughs> and you know what? Um, I'm thankful for the spaces in my world that give me the opportunity when a message like that comes in to be in a space where I'm not reactive, not always, sometimes I am reactive. And, and even when I am, it's like, you know, what do I need? What's missing from my world? To actually take a deep breath and say, it's going to be okay, right? We can do this. We can do this. Let's have a quick review of the day. <laughs> kind of, I call it skateboard and doing um, your diary the Tetris way. You kind of know what your chunks are and you move the chunks around and you think, plonk, there goes um, that block now that is going to be available to help this now sometimes that could also mean having the mental space to do the tetris in my head the blocks to think is there someone i need to call right is there someone i need to call are there people that um, could step into this space and things like that now as human beings this doesn't happen automatically right because your brain is is organic your brain is a material it is pathways it is neurons it is it is organic and it needs space and time to recover and process and think and plan. Uh, and if we don't have the sort, these sorts of margins in our life, if we don't have these sorts of margins in our life, we, it's very difficult to deal with the unexpected. When things don't go according to plan, when things do, don't go uh, our way, and we can get so fixated on the plan and 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 resent when things don't go according to plan or blame others or blame ourselves feel like a failure oh but the thing is it's not the plan that gets us through right it's not the plan that gets us through it's the flexibility and the adaptability of when the plans don't go according to plans that will get us through and for that we need react we, we need reflective space yeah we, we we need it so I wonder what's your reflective space do you have practices um personal practices for you not just the annual retreat or the annual holiday but just even weekly or daily um what is that for you i'd love to hear from you take care